The cruise port here in San Diego is open for business again, and the cruise guy, Stuart Sheeran, joins us along with a special guest who you're probably going to remember from the Love Boat. Uh, they join us from aboard the Majestic Princess. Uh, thank you, Stuart, for joining us today. How are you doing out there? Well, it's, uh, it's a nice day. You're in the office, and I'm, my office is out here on a cruise ship. It's, it's so I'm a, doing great. It's a better office. Uh, let's get, you know, one of the big things about cruise is people are packed tight together. There are a lot of people, crowds. So what it comes to mind for so many people thinking about it is their safety. So what is Princess, what are the cruise industry as a whole doing to keep people safe? Well, I could tell you this is my sixth cruise since June, and uh, close quarters is not what's happening. Uh, if you've never been on a cruise and you listen to what, you know, let's say is being reported, you might have a, a you know, be able to misjudge what's actually occurring. Uh, these ships are so large, there's so many places to be able to spread out. And right now the ships have reduced capacity. So this ship is operating right now at about a third its capacity. Uh, I mean, you know, you can see there's, there's very few people uh, out and about. And, uh, you know, it's, you, you don't have those kinds of issues. We did have to get uh, COVID tested within two days of the sailing. We had to provide uh, COVID proof of COVID vaccinations uh, before we were allowed to board, which are additional precautions that the cruise lines are all taking to ensure that the passengers, the crew, and the destinations they visit are as safe as possible. And of course, Princess Cruises, famously, the love boat was one of the Princess Cruises. Uh, I understand we have Vicki Steubing herself, Jill Whelan here with us uh, to talk about maybe, yep. you know, our, hey, sure uh, back is. on the ocean is, I, you know, I have to, I have to ask, is Charo there too? Because she was always on the love boat. Not. We usually travel as a pair, <laughs> you know, just not this time. So, She's doing her guitar practice. So smaller crowds, but are people still having big fun? What are they doing out there? You know, it, uh, I got to tell you, it's so, first of all, it's so great to be back in service. And one of the things that but Princess has, it, it, it's a little bit smaller crowd, but we have all these incredible features like the medallion class ships, which we're on right now, that have the medallion, this is a medallion, it's keyless entry, you never have to touch um, a cash register, you never have to sign a bill. Everything comes from this little GPS medallion, and it's so amazing. I could be sitting here right now, and I can look on my phone and order a cocktail or some food or another medallion piece of jewelry just standing right here. I don't have to go into the store. I don't have to wait in line at the uh, purser's lobby. I don't have to do any of that. And, oh, okay, this is my favorite part. Have you guys cruised before? I've, I've been on one, one long one. Okay. My least favorite part of cruising is when you have to do the safety drill with your muster station. Yep. You know, when you have to sort of hang out. Yep. You don't do that anymore. Now, you can watch it on your phone in your cabin. You can watch it on the screen in your cabin or anywhere on the ship in your cabin. And then you don't have to go. All you have to do is just take this little medallion, go click it at your muster station before the ship leaves, and that's it. So, te just... so technology making it safer and more convenient. Stuart, we're about out of time. Uh, what would you say to people thinking about getting on a cruise ship again right now? What would you be your advice? Well, uh, you know, go go enjoy yourself. Understand they're gonna they're, you're gonna be. This is look. It's it's safer on a cruise ship than it is at home. It's safer than an airplane, a hotel, or even a theme park because you know everybody on board the ship is vaccinated. So they're they're not taking any chances. COVID's inevitable, but we're never going to see what we saw in March of 20 last year because the, the passengers with the technology are being isolated and quarantined, and the rest of the ship can go and continue on their vacation and, and enjoy it. But safety is absolutely paramount, and when we go inside, we have to wear masks, but you know what? It's just really nice to be at sea again. All right, the cruise guy, Stuart Sheeran, uh, Jill Whelan, thank you for spending this time. This is, of course, a big economic engine for San Diego as well, so good news. Thanks for your time.